When I first started working offshore, it was the late 80s, early 90s, I would uh, hit an offshore rig and 99.9% .9 of the time, in seven years I spent working offshore, I was not only the only female, but I was always the only person of color. Every now and then you would find one other person on a rig that may be female or maybe African American, but very, very few and far between. And um, here I am close to 30 years later and I still run into people that remember me because I was such a, you know, I was always the odd man out or very, very different to find someone uh, African American female offshore. So it was definitely an experience. It definitely defined me to being able to accept others or to know what it's like to always be the only one. Um, when I first started working offshore, I wanted to be real, um, you know, I wanted to fit in. Don't, I don't need anything extra. I dress like the guys. I look like the guys. I wanted, you know, I don't need a separate room or I don't need any special attention. And every time when you hit the rig and you're the only female, I don't care what's going on, everything stops. Because those guys have been out there for weeks and months and it's like, woman on board, woman on board. And I'd say, no, no, don't mind me. I don't need any extra attention. I don't need anything extra. I'm just out here to do my job. Probably after I got real good at being a female engineer and I like being a female, I would say, okay guys, woman on board, I need you to move these guys over there so I can have my special room and this is what I like to eat and this is what I want to do. <laughs> because there was always a lot of attention, but it was a really uh, growing period for me to learn not only just being offshore means um, the oil industry works 365 days, 24 hour days. So I would say my first five Christmases, I would be offshore. The youngest engineer, always on a job. Any holidays, birthdays, it, it goes year round. So you have to really find joy in the situation you're in. You have to come to accept it. You have to like your job. And you have to be able to like pe the people you're around, you know, and really kind of make them a family. So all of that was a big growing experience because what 22-year-old doesn't want to be out with her friends at the movie, on a date, with the family, and um, the offshore workers become your family, you know, and you, you hit a rig and you see people that you've seen before or, and you definitely know the type. <laughs> Everyone has a role they play and uh, sometimes you get adversarial, you know, I didn't want a woman out here. And uh, I used to love to say, listen, you got the best, but if you want to send me back, I, maybe in weeks before you get another engineer, so you better take me and I would, I'll promise I'll do a good job or something like that. But it was always a challenge. And not only that, as an offshore worker, you just, um, you become so used to that lifestyle, to being up 24 hours. It, field engineers have a claim to fame. How long you've been up with no sleep? My number is 72. I've been up 72 hours working, you know, trying to get the job done. It's a lot of money involved. There's a lot of technology. There's a lot of management. And you have young engineers out there making it happen. So those traits also become who you are. Get it done. Make it happen. Make it work, whatever it takes. And that kind of something good to take with you through, through life.